learning about the world's biggest weekend. Utopia of the Seas is going to serve up over 40 ways to dine and drink for jaw-dropping shows and more ways to pool and beach day your way. You've got a weekend bu adventure bucket list? Utopia is the answer. Your clients will have their pick when it comes to tons of dining options more than any other ship and 23 unique entertainment venues filled with live music and dancing, not to mention the opportunities to sip, splash, and kick back. But that's not all, because in addition to Utopia being quite the destination in itself, every sailing will be stopping at Perfect Day. At, as we know, Utopia of the Seas is our sixth Oasis class ship. She'll be doing three and four night sailings, with the first departing in July 2024. And as I mentioned, every sailing will be going to Perfect Day. This is the first ship in the Oasis class to be powered by LNG, and I know a lot of you have been wondering this. She will be open for sale this Thursday, June 22nd. And this is certainly no secret. Utopia of the Seas is going to be big. With 236,860 gross registered tons and 2,834 staterooms, some of which we will share new with you today. Our Oasis class ships are designed and constructed in a way that our guests, your clients, can maximize their vacation time on every square inch of these 18 beautiful decks. And you might ask, well, what kind of ways are they going to be maximizing their vacation time? Well, they'll be splashing, dining, and partying, of course, so who's ready to learn more? Jackie, talk to us about those bigger ways to splash. Thank you, Shanae. I am so excited to be here to unveil the bigger ways to splash on the new Utopia of the Sea. And with the new Utopia sailing to our private island, perfect day at Coco Cay, you will never have to choose between pool day and beach day again. And when we look at everything that Utopia is going to offer merged with Perfect Day, it's really going to be a sailing offering some of the best splashes every day. And we all love numbers, so let's take a look at some right here. This ship will have five pools and eight whirlpools on board. Then add in an additional three pools at Perfect Day, one of them being the largest freshwater pool in the Caribbean, the Oasis Lagoon, you have just so many pools to choose from. Also on Perfect Day, we have our 1,500 foot zip line. We've got Up, Up and Away, the 450 feet high helium balloon, the tallest water slide in North America, Daredevil's Peak, and six stretches of beaches throughout the island. And for those thrill seekers, we have a total of 17 slides on board and on shore. So there's plenty for everyone to choose from. Now let's take a closer look at Utopia's enhanced pool deck experience. All right, there is no doubt that the new Utopia of the Seas will deliver the ultimate pool day. And from those five onboard pools I just mentioned, the top deck will have three of them, two will be resort style, and one will be a sloping beach entry pool. You'll also have your pick of bars and eateries to choose from just steps away, and of course, we'll have that live Caribbean music throughout the day. But that's not all. Guests can also reserve their VIP private casita, which is like a cabana right nearby. So they'll really have just no reason whatsoever to leave that pool area. And now our other two pools are the adults only solarium pool and bar for those that want to keep things low key. And our sweet guest will also have the exclusive sweet sun deck private pool overlooking the ocean. Now let's see some even some more splashes here. Of course we couldn't have a new Oasis class ship without our complimentary perfect storm water slide. There will be three slides on deck 15, the racing typhoon and, and cyclone where you can race your friends, 
and our supercell champagne bowl, swirling and looping to the end, which we see here in the orange. Now, this is definitely one for those water, sub, water slide enthusiasts out there. Thrilling for sure. And we all know that swimming and riding slides all day can work up an appetite. Well, on the Utopia, there will be three convenient dining options just steps away from the pool, and all three will be complimentary. First up will be a brand new poolside food truck to snack on quick bites and handheld favorites, which we see here. Or we also have El Loco Fresh for some burritos, tacos, quesadillas, with a variety of salsas and fresh guac made from scratch. Or you can head to the Tranquil Solarium Bistro for an all-you-can-eat buffet with some amazing panoramic ocean views. And while you're grabbing a bite to eat at a Loco Fresh, you can now also grab a drink at the Cantina Fresca Bar, which offers delicious Mexican-inspired cocktails. And one of our favorites is the pineapple jalapeno margarita. That touch of spice mixed with the citrus is just amazing. But if spicy really isn't your thing, you can pick your own flavor of margarita like strawberry, mango, or passion fruit. And Cantina Fresca also serves some smoky mezcals and has a great selection of Mexican beers. And of course, as with any of our bars on board, the drinks will be included as part of your beverage package or they are priced a la carte. Now the next hot spot to grab a drink on the pool deck is the Lime and Coconut Caribbean Bar. And this Lime and Coconut is unlike any other. There will now be three, yes, three Lime and Coconut locations. All of them will be right here in the heart of the pool deck action, located on decks 16, 15 and 16, and we'll have DJs and live music nearby just to keep that Caribbean vibe going. And another great thing to note about the three Lime and Coconut Bars is the hours. They will all be open at 9 a.m. and close at midnight. All right, let's keep going. And I know this will be one of Sinead's favorite places on board, and this is Sprinkles. We announced this supersized complimentary ice cream spot on Icon of the Seas, and now we are bringing it on board Utopia as well. Sprinkles will be located on deck 15, right next to the pool, and you'll have your choice from vanilla, chocolate, or strawberry ice cream, or mix and match. And the best part is you can then top it off with up to four different flavors of sprinkles. The kids and the grown-ups are sure to love this. And now for those daredevils out there, an Oasis class ship just wouldn't be complete without the ultimate abyss. However, we have something a little special in store for this one. It's bigger and bolder than any other ultimate abyss we've seen before. Starting up on deck 16 all the way down to deck 6, it's 43 feet longer and has been redesigned to go even faster. So this will be officially the longest dry slide at sea. So even if you've raced someone down this slide before, it's time for a rematch on Utopia. And of course, we can't forget the best and boldest. First off, whether we're talking about a weekend or a weekday sailing, there will be no shortage of food and drinks. Your clients will have the opportunity to enjoy 21 different venues on board, five dining spots at Perfect Day at Coco Cay, and this is a fun fact, cuisines from all over the world. Utopia will be home to the first two-deck Giovanni's Italian Kitchen and Wine Bar featuring Gio Terrazza, its new alfresco terrace. And who loves Izumi? If that includes you, then you're going to love this. Utopia's Izumi will be the largest in the class with six teppanyaki tables. We'll also be introducing a new-to-brand immersive train car dining experience unlike any other. All things combined, guests will have over 40 ways to dine and drink when they sail on board Utopia of the Seas. So first up, let's talk about Izumi. Now located in Central Park, not only will Izumi have six teppanyaki tables for groups to enjoy together, but we're adding the convenience of a walk-up window to grab your favorite roll or bubble cone ice cream. 
We love this new Izumi in the Park because it allows guests to dine al fresco in the Central Park open air or enjoy a more lively dining experience inside. As we know, Izumi will serve both lunch and dinner, and while reservations will be required for dining inside, the walk-up window will be grab and go. Now, this next one is just a teaser, but we know it will be enough to get you excited about learning more later on. Utopia will be home to the most immersive dining experience at sea, with our new train car dining venue. From the moment you enter, you'll feel like you've left the ship for the golden age of rail travel. It all starts with pre-dinner drinks at the station platform, and when the whistle blows, it's time for an Epicurean adventure. Guests will take in sights, sounds, and flavors on a journey of multiple courses that takes them miles away from the ordinary. I wish I had more details for you, but what a teaser. You'll just have to wait and see what comes next. Next up, let's talk about the gorgeous new two-deck Giovanni. Giovanni's Italian kitchen and wine bar sets the table for an authentic, rustic Italian experience. There will be dishes like a cheese stack lasagna, fork tender ossobuco, hand-topped pizzas delivered straight from the oven. And with the introduction of Gio Serrata, your guests will be able to dine al fresco overlooking the boardwalk or in the upscale dining room. And for those looking for something lighter, check out the wine bar for a wide selection of vinos paired with a charcuterie board. Giovanni's is a specialty dining option that can be found on deck 11 and 12 and will be open for lunch and dinner. And a favorite across our fleet, the Windjammer Marketplace, will have the most indulgent cuisine to hit the weekend scene. With over 200 five-star dishes served every night, everyone is bound to find something to satisfy their cravings. Try a little or a lot of everything because every trip will be different than the time before. As usual, our Windjammer will be open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and will be complimentary to all guests. The Mason Jar is our specialty dining option that I cannot wait to try. Located on Deck 15, they will have all the Southern fixings, reinventing country classics, bayou staples, and bold barbecue. Open for brunch, dinner, and late night, there's going to be so much on this menu that warms up the soul. Here you will find Creole-style lobster and crawfish gumbo, chicken and waffles, and a delicious cinnamon roll for that sweet tooth. The Mason Jar will also have live country music playing throughout the dining time and amazing handcrafted libations, so the vibes will always be right. Make sure to make a reservation to enjoy all that they have going on. Now, Utopia the Seas is taking our brand signature steakhouse, Top Grill, and adding some romance to it. Stroll through Central Park before your dinner reservation and grab some cocktail, wine, or bubbly at Trellis Bar. The soft, twinkling lights and breeze of Trellis Bar will be a wonderful prelude to date night at the neighboring Chop Grill. At Chop, you can enjoy deliciously seasoned cuts paired with mouth-watering side dishes. Trellis Bar will be a la carte, while Chop Grill will be a four-pay experience. I am confident that this din drink and dinner combo will be a date night to remember. And to wrap up our bigger ways to dine, we have our real taste of New England style seafood at Cook Seafood. This specialty dining option is located on Deck 16 and will be offering all of your favorite coastal flavors, such as Maryland crab cakes, Maine lobster rolls, oysters, and other raw bar favorites. Cook Seafood will be open for lunch and dinner and reservations will be necessary. And now that we're all good and hungry from exploring our dining options, I'm going to pass it over to Jackie. So now that you've seen the bigger ways to splash and dine, let's talk about the bigger ways to party on board Utopia of the Sea. As we can all agree, weekends are for playing hard, and on board the Utopia is no exception. As I'll show you in just a moment, the options are nearly endless. This ship has 23 bars and lounges, five live music venues, four spectacular shows on stage, ice, air, and water, and I can just go on. But first, let me show you our party infographic 
so you can really see the magnitude of all the ways there are to party on board this ship. Here we go. Like I mentioned, there are 23 bars and lounges, including a new-to-brand tiki bar called the Pesky Parrot, and that's just on board. When you factor in the bars available at Perfect Day, that's an additional 13 bars. We've also got the four jaw-dropping shows. That's two in the Royal Theater, one ice skating show, and one aqua theater show. Ten DJs, both on board and on shore at Perfect Day. Six onboard venues for dancing, five live music venues, and this is really great. There are two, yes, two casino options available on board the Utopia of the Seas, with 371 slot machines in total. And to wrap this up, we have a staggering 68 TVs at Playmakers. So these are some pretty cool numbers that we see here. So now let's take a closer look at some of these venues. First up, we have the Pesky Parrot. And this is our new-to-brand Caribbean Tiki Bar, serving fruity cocktails and frozen drinks. It's located on Deck 5 in the Royal Promenade, and it's sure to be a very lively spot to grab a drink or meet up with friends in the middle of that Royal Promenade action. Now let's talk about Casino Royale. And Utopia of the Seas Casino Royale Experience will actually have two casinos for our guests to choose from. We'll have the standard Casino Royale, which has approximately 539 seats, and we will also have our non-smoking Casino Royale with about 64 seats. Between the two, there'll be five roulette tables, 14 blackjack tables, 371 slot machines, and eight poker tables, just to name a few. So that's really great and very exciting news about our new Casino Royale concept on board Utopia. And also returning to the Utopia of the Seas is the fleet favorite karaoke venue, Spotlight Karaoke. And we know it's always a good time at Spotlight Karaoke where our guests can hit the stage and sing their favorite hits with thousands of popular songs to choose from. This casual venue is located on Deck 5 on the Royal Promenade and features a bar as well as private karaoke rooms that can be reserved for a fee for those guests who want that private karaoke party action. And of course, we can't forget the ever popular Boleros, our Latin themed club serving up Latin cocktails like the Cuban mojitos or the Brazilian caipirinhas. Boleros also features a live band every night playing salsa, cumbia, merengue, and samba. And during the day, this is the spot for salsa classes for those that want to practice their moves. This is definitely a guest favorite party spot that goes late into the wee hours of the night every night. And Boleros will also be located on Deck 5 on the Royal Promenade. Next up, we have Playmakers, Sports Bar, and Arcade, another guest and fleet favorite venue. And this Playmakers is located on Deck 6 on the Boardwalk and is another venue where our guests can either meet up for dinner, to watch a game, to have a beer, or even just to people watch on the boardwalk. And the menu at Playmakers is priced a la carte and serves up your favorite bar foods like the Playmakers Burger or the Five Scoop Touchdown Sunday. And it's also got a full bar with beers on tap. And remember from my infographic a few slides back, this Playmakers has 68 TV screens showing your favorite sports programming from around the world. But my favorite part about Playmakers is that private owner's box. It's got its own TVs, comfy seating, and can be reserved for a big game or for just a fun casual night with your family and friends. All right, let's keep going. Next, we have Music Hall, which is the perfect spot for a great night out on board Utopia of the Sea. And this two-story music hall is located on Deck 8, and it has these great views of the boardwalk, and undoubtedly has the most amazing high-energy shows with the best cover bands at sea. Here in Music Hall, our guests can either hit the dance floor, enjoy the entertainment from one of the lounge tables, grab a drink at the bar, or even take in a game of pool. This is really a great multifaceted venue with so much to do. 
And another venue in the heart of the Utopia's Royal Promenade is our English pub, Bell and Barley. I always love to see what names will be given to the English pubs on board our new ship. They are always just so clever. And Bell and Barley is the perfect venue for guests to enjoy a drink and listen to live music day or night. And the bar offers a vast selection of beers, UK themed cocktails, and a wide variety of spirits. I'm sure many of you will agree that this is also a great spot to people watch on the Royal Promenade. And for some late night entertainment, we're happy to bring back the attic to the Utopia of the Seas. This is a brand staple and home to the Utopia's live comedy shows featuring some of the best stand-up comedians. The attic will be located on deck four within the entertainment place and it's modeled and themed after Manhattan, Manhattan's dark and intimate comedy club. And remember, The Attic is an adults-only comedy venue. And lastly, we do still have to keep something secret. The headline entertainment on Utopia of the Seas is still confidential, but it will be revealed very, very soon, so stay tuned. But for now, I think we all know what we can expect dazzling Broadway-style musicals, aqua theater performances that leave us on the edge of our seats, and of course, the spectacular displays of artistry that we see in our ice show. Utopia's lineup will not disappoint, I can promise you that. And remember that Royal Caribbean has been chosen for best entertainment six years running by Travel Weekly readers, so that speaks volumes. And with that, I hope you've enjoyed this peek into the bigger ways to party on Utopia of the Seas, and I will turn it over to Sinead to show you what is new in accommodation. Thank you, Jackie.